guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over the Essie Sunny Business Collection, and I'm wearing the same clothing that I was wearing in my previous video because yes, I filmed two videos back to back. I need to take advantage of the fact that my family is nowhere to be found in this area. They're in their rooms doing things and I have silent time. So let's go, right? I So the Sunny Business Collection, it is not their summer 2020 collection. I already reviewed that for you guys. That was the bustling bazaar. The Sunny Business Collection is not a transition from spring to summer because that was flying solo. The colors look pastel enough, look, look at this, that they don't tell me fall. So this is not a summer to fall transition. This is also not their summer, their midsummer collection. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the label is, but I do not care. They're gorgeous. There's nine of them. Right? I'm holding them here in this little holder thing because I am extremely clumsy and things fall, you know, when I'm handling them. So I have no way to pick up all nine of them and show you guys, but here they are. You see what I'm saying? They look extremely pastel -y. Actually, let me pull them real quick and hopefully nothing falls, but with the exception of this orange, which feel, feels a little bit more summery, look at that, the pastelness of this collection. They're, they're not... All right, I'm gonna attempt this and if anything falls, it's gonna be someone else's, like gravity. Oh, blame it on gravity. Take a look at that. That does not say, you know, summer to fall transition. It doesn't, I don't know what it is, but anyways, they're gorgeous. Let's do live swatches, let's, let's look at pictures, and then I'll be doing com comparisons on my Instagram and all that, because there are a lot of colors here that I have sim similar things to them, so we're gonna inspect them a lot. And then other than that, please remember that in the swatch videos, I, you know, my light is not very good, the accuracy of the color in the video is not very good, but in the picture it should be, so look at the formula for just, to inspect how the formula goes on, how it self levels, uh, how many codes you need, all of that. But when it comes to color accuracy, focus on the picture. So there's nine of them, it's a lot of things to go over. So let's just let's just get into it. All right, first up we have You've Got Me Faded and the spelling is really cute because it's like UV, like UV light. Um, this is a gorgeous lilac, I think. This is lilac, very light. Um, it was, I did two coats, but it was, surprisingly decent in one. I would have expected this to be a lot more white based and it wasn't, like it felt good. Like, anyways, I, I, I will probably still wear it in two, but it's, it wasn't very streaky on code one and I expected it to be. So I guess I'm a little shocked by it, but I love this tone of, um, it's like lilac lavender. I don't know what this is, like light purple. I don't know, if you want to get specific, I don't know, but I look at it, I'm like, oh, cute light purple pastel, you know, so. Very, very cute. Next up we have Suits You Swell, and it's a little bit darker than the one that I just showed you guys. So I just wanted to show you here real quick. Um, this one, same situation, fantastic formula. It's, I, I will still think it's a pastel, just a little bit darker than the previous one. Um, the formula is really, really good. I did do two coats, but I feel like if you have really short nails, you might get away with one. Um, um, I'm having like uh, a purple era right now where I'm really enjoying purple polishes and I know I'm probably saying purple, wrong, purple, I don't know. Anyways, great polish. Next up we have throw in the towel and this is like a pink, rosy pink, just a pink. I think this is what people call mid-tone. I don't know if that's, if that's right. You guys can go to the Essie website if you're interested in their description. They're usually on point. The formula on this, um, I actually was surprised. It, I felt like it kind of needed two coats. It's not like some of the other ones where maybe the second coat is just like to even it out, but maybe one would be okay. But this one, I feel like you needed two coats. Still gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I will be doing comparisons for this one because I feel like I have a couple of polishes that are similar, but it's a very pretty, very pretty tone of pink. Really nice. The next one is Beachy King, and this one is white base. Like the other ones, even if they need one coat or two coats or whatever, um, they don't feel as white base. Like this one feels a little bit more chalky, so for sure you're gonna need two coats on this one, but the tone of this is gorgeous. And again, you guys know I have a lot of these little pinks. We'll do comparisons on my Instagram, but this is a very gorgeous shade of pink. Uh, just, it seems like a classic. It seems like all year round type of thing. The next one is You're a Catch, and this is almost a one coater, but I still did two. Again, another neutral, um, this is like a very light blush pink. 
it's, it's coming up quite beige on, on, on here, but you guys are gonna see on the swatch picture. And sometimes I have a problem getting the swatch pictures correct on these types of like beigey pinks or, or nude colors because it's so similar to my skin tone, but then it pulls to white. And when I try to fix the balance of the colors, I, I end up messing up my skin. And anyways, I, I try to shoot for getting the actual nail to be accurate and then you know whatever but sometimes I, I fail so i have to like describe what things are this is like a like a um blush color a typical blush i will be doing comparisons on this one for sure because i have a lot of colors that are similar to this but very pretty talk to the sand is extremely white based it, it, it's a chalky white based color i did two coats some people i think might need three this gives me like flashbacks of like older essie polishes it's not like the others uh, you guys are gonna see on the live swatch it's very white like if you grab the white and you put like a tiny hint of pink but then it does have the chalky type of um, formula so it's probably something that I wouldn't reach for even though the color is gorgeous so it's like even a lighter blush than the previous one this one might have like more beige and this one's like more pink and they're both like super light but anyways it's pretty but the formula does seem a little bit complicated ish you know Next up, we have Sony Business, and this is the one, you know, that the collection is named after. This is a... This yellow is unique, you guys. Um, I did two coats on the swatch, and I would wear it at two, coat, but, two coats, but I feel for longer nails, or maybe the majority of people, you might need three if you want full-on, you know, complete opacity, because it's a jelly base with a shimmer, and it is so cute. Like, I'm actually surprised that I like this, because I was like, okay, this is gonna wash me out, blah, blah, blah. It didn't. When I wore it, it actually was cute and it's yellow enough that it doesn't wash me out as much as like other things that are similar, you know, because I, I do feel like I have like yellow undertones on my skin tone and some things just clash, right? But this one was super fun. And, you know, it does have, like I said, that jelly finish with the shimmer. So it does feel streaky when you're applying it, but then it evens out. It evened out for me good enough at two coats, but some people please just remember you might need three. But I, I think it's worth it because I think it's unique enough that... I could justify, you know, the trouble. <laughs> Seize the day. This, you guys, for this one, um, I did two coats, but it's a similar situation with the yellow. I think like some people for longer nails maybe, because you know when you have longer nails, it, it's just a different process when you're painting. And right now my nails are super short. I did two coats and that was fine. That's what you're gonna see on the live swatch, but on the live swatch and swatch picture, but I feel like some people might need three and this one was actually really really cute it's not i didn't have a problem with it usually i keep saying this but i've had problems with like shimmery blues this year this was not one of those it feels almost pearly but then it has a shift so it was actually really really cute i it's unique to my collection i don't think i have anything in this exact same color and finish and formula so i was happy with it i feel like it's it's, a, it's different but it's not the best formula here either you know Last but not least, we have Anything Goes. And no, I'm not pronouncing this wrong. It's called Anything. And that's probably how I sound anytime I say anything, literally. But anyways, this one is an orange. It does feel very summery and it's looking more orange on camera than what I'm seeing in real life. But it is an orange. When I first look at it, I don't think coral. I think orange, but it does have corally undertones. And I'm looking down here because I have my notes. I swatched this a couple days ago. Um, the first coat, really really good but i did end up doing two and i would probably wear it in two but it's a good formula it doesn't feel white based or any of that um very good summer polish overall i feel like it dries a little bit darker than the drill you know the drill they know the drill <laughs> that's a dad joke that's not good anyways great polish for summer good formula i like this one and the name is super cute anything goes all right, now that we have seen all of them, let's start favorites. My favorite one has to be this purple, which is the first one I showed you guys. You, you've got me faded. It's just gorgeous. This, this, this types of shades just are always gonna get me. Um, and then another honorable mention is the namesake of the collection, Sunny Business. I just feel like this yellow, even though it's a jelly base and I'm gonna need like three coats to get it to opacity or whatever, and it's a shimmer and maybe I don't know. I, I feel like it's unique to my collection. It's really, really cute. It's a summery, fun polish to wear. And so it also feels like maybe like springy, you know? 
I liked it. And if I have to pick a least favorite, it is not because of the color, it's because of the formula and it has to be talked to the sand. I just feel like, I don't know, I'm spoiled at this point. I've tried so many good polishes that if you're still streaky and chalky and I have to do three coats for a nude, you know, there's other competition here in this collection and, and you're just gonna sink to the bottom for me. But other than that, the colors are all very, very gorgeous. I will do more research and try and figure out what this collection is about. Why is it here smack in the middle of summer when we're having like four other collections go going around? It doesn't seem like a transition of any kind and I'm so confused, but at the same time, I'm very glad I grabbed it because I think it's super pretty and I am happy to actually, you know, add some of these to my collection, even if they're probably similar to other things I already own by Essie. What am I doing here? Well, I, don't know. I don't know where I'm pointing, but that's it. Let me know what you guys think about this collection in the comments below. And if you know what this collection is about, why Essie put it out? Is it like a transition? What, what, what is this? Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked this review and that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.